Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Jimmy, and on this channel, we're talking all things day trading. So today was a bit of a wild one. You're gonna really find this interesting because there was a lot going on, and I had made this decision last night. I decided to get a different account involved, and I'm gonna explain this as we get into it, but ultimately what happened today was I ended up trading in two accounts during the same trade at the same time. Now, I don't recommend this, and actually this reminds me, I'm just gonna roll this real quick. This is the disclaimer for the channel. I'm not licensed in anything, I'm just a guy that likes to trade the markets. I love following price action. I just love being involved with the market. So with that out of the way, let's dive into this. This was a crazy one today, and I was laughing when it was all done because I sort of created two scenarios two rule-based sort of situations and was able to execute them both pretty accurately within one minute. So it's, it's a really bizarre scenario, but what happened was I'm trading in my cash account and a lot of you know that I like to play opening range breakouts. And I like to play the range breakout on that last pre-market 15 minute candle. So I did that like normal, but instead of just playing my cash account, I also put that same order into my, my uh, not my Roth, my traditional IRA. I manage that and typically only trade options in that account. But today I decided, why not just go ahead and put the trade on in there? And you might say, well, that sounds kind of risky without back tests because I always preach back testing. But what I did was I looked back at the last 115 trades and turns out that my win rate when I take a long position is about 48%. So to me, I said, okay, well, if I could get myself to 2R on any of these long trades, then that would mean that I need to be right 33% of the time. So that told me I had about a 15% edge on the long side. So I thought, you know what? You can't short in your IRA, but you can take longs. So I thought, let's leverage things and let's put the same trade on twice with the same mechanics except for one thing. Once I'm up beyond two and a half R in the retirement account, I told myself I can just flatten the position and get out. And in my cash account, I'm maintaining the same rules I've had all along, which are once my P&L gets to 2.5 R, which is $750, I move my stop loss up to two R. And then I just see what happens. If it keeps moving in my direction, then what I'll do is follow it bar by bar for my stop loss until I get stopped out. So that's what happened today. And I'm gonna show you the video right now. I'm gonna hit play on this. So you can see real quick that the market had just opened, been open 21 seconds, and it just rages to the upside. So I got a pretty quick fill it was just broken up into a lot of little pieces you can see. But over here, you can see I did get the full 1200 share fill and I got it at 96.44. And for a tiny brief second, I don't know, you can see my p and I was almost stopped out because my R value is 300. I was down 276. I don't know what that means exactly, if that was just a glitch in the, in the uh, trading platform, but I hit play Immediately I'm up 72, 24, everything's good. I, I rush quickly up into the 400s and then back down negative. So this one was very whippy and the one thing that I want to tell you and show you is if you look at how long we've been open, market's been open 35 seconds right here. Look at the volume, 1.134 million shares traded in the first 35 seconds. So this was really big volume and I had an indication of that because this third candle right here, we had the last pre-market candle, the second and then the third with this big tail. This candle had a volume of 250,000 shares in the pre-market. That's atypical for AMD. Typically AMD will do something on the last three candles like 8,000, 16,000, 10,000 or sometimes it'll give you like a 8,000, 25,000, 80,000, or I've even seen it as high as a hundred or right around 90,000, but never, I've never seen a pre market candle at 250,000. So that told me that we had a lot of volume and that things could be volatile this morning. 
in addition to that volume, I saw this huge tail. So what I do every morning when I get ready to place my trades on the upside and the downside, because I place a long trade and a short trade, and then I let AMD decide which way we're going. This morning I said, I really think my gut says that we're going to go long today because of volume and because of this big wiki tail. So with that being said, I'll hit play again. Notice the volume. It's just massive. We jump up. I'm up about, about 280, 300, 410. So I come in to edit my order because I want to move the stop loss as soon as we get to 2.5R, which is $750. We come back in the 200s, 300s. We're just kind of all over the place this morning. And we hit the 550s, 600s. We're getting really close. And my plan here was that if we hit 2.5R and I move that stop loss, I've got to immediately jump over to my other account so that I can flatten that one because I wanted to not have a target on it. I just wanted to kind of let it go. So you can see right here, we get pushing up back to the fives, the sixes. You're going to see 750 hit the board. And that's going to happen right there. So right there, you can see I'm bringing this up right here to edit the order. And I fire that off. So I just move my stop loss from minus 1R to plus 2R right here. And now my plan is that if I don't get stopped out and this keeps going higher, I'm going to play the stop loss movement bar by bar. So immediately I flip over to my other account, pop over to my traditional IRA, and then in that account I'm seeing that I'm up to almost 2.5R. So all I'm going to do is jump into this account, slap the flatten button, and call it a day. There's no strategy in this account other than just get beyond 2R and take it off. And that's what I did. I just slapped the flatten immediately and I end up clocking out with $707.48, which is fantastic because that's in an, a whole additional, you know, separate account. And I heard a bunch of other dings while I was doing this. I was hearing all these chimes. So I hop back over to the first account to find out that I had just been stopped. So you can see I got that came, theme came, that candle came raging back to the downside, stopped me out for almost $600. So almost 2R on that play right there. So almost 2.5R in the previous account, in the traditional IRA account over here, you can see 707, um, close to 750, a little under 2.5R. And then in my normal cash account that I always trade, $585, almost 2R, almost 2R. So um, we picked up 2R, 4R and a half. We'll call it maybe 4 and a quarter R that we picked up today. Really amazing and really cool to leverage data from my trades, from my hundreds of back tests plus my hundred and now 16 or 17 live trades on the strategy um, to identify that my long trades have a win rate significant enough to justify putting on a 2 or a 2.5R position. So I'm going to keep this up, I think, and just consistently trade in three accounts. I can't trade short in an IRA. So if, in fact, the trade decides to go south and go, go short, then that'll only be in one account because I can't short in any government setup or established um, retirement accounts. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pop over to the chart real quick and just show you what ended up happening. If I jump back over to AMD, let's go to the 15 minute chart here and let's just take a look at what it did do. So it's kind of funny, but um, it worked out really well in the IRA because I got that pop up, I slapped the flatten button, got out, got stopped on my original first trade and then AMD just sold off. And that was kind of it. It's really done nothing today. It's um, you know, the pre-market levels were at 96 and a half ish and we're just at 96.75 right now. So things are a little flat in AMD, but amazing day to stack $700 in one account and almost 600 in another for about $1,300 on the day. So if you have questions about your strategy, drop them below. Leave me comments if you have questions about what I did today. If you want to know more about how Thinkorswim allows you to trade in different accounts, 
we might be able to get into that in our next live stream, which I haven't announced yet. I'm not sure when that's going to be. It could be a couple of weeks. So we'll keep planning on that. Hope this was helpful. Hope you guys were green today. Again, ask any questions you want in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel and you got value from this video, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. It really helps support the channel. And in addition, if you want to be part of our private, free Facebook group, go to my YouTube banner and click on that link and I'll get you set up. And you can join our group of, I think, 100 and, 186 members so far. Come join us. We'd love to have you. All right. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.